that you can't um that you can't do or be as nearly or as close as fabulous to this. So I but I want to thank the woman that called me a zealous journalist. Um because I I understand and I do see how you all have a problem. Um you you have a problem for whatever reason with us and I will, and I'll say me, because I, I, I don't want to compare myself to other bloggers or out there. But you all have now a problem that we get the story and the news first. And I don't, I don't understand why the same bloggers that you follow um, to get the tea and how we have the exclusive tea that you so desperately want that has allowed us to create um, a career and jobs and opportunities out of nothing. I've been doing this for 10 years. I have consistently, I have consistently throughout my decade in doing this, broke stories that no one else knew. I broke the Eddie Long story. I broke the Juanita Bynum uh, story. I broke the story with uh, with uh, uh, Bishop Paul Martin and so many and countless other stories and information that you all have found out through me and because of me and because of my platform. I started and created this. So why you want to be mad when I say someone is dead? If I tell you that a duck is a truck, then you can hook it up. What I... So I struggled with sharing this week's Sunday Night Live with Sir William McRae because of this right here. So most of you know uh, that the Honorable Dr. Fred Price passed away uh, either Friday or Saturday. According to Wikipedia, he passed away on Friday. His family announced it uh, early Saturday morning, somewhere like in in the AMs, like 2 AM, 3 AM, something like that. I could be wrong. And, but other people were announcing, announcing it much earlier, uh, Friday. And I had an issue with that because, and I have an issue with what he's saying, because just because you know something don't mean you need to tell it all the time. I need to be the first one to run, tell it all the time. Um, I have an issue, whether it's a celebrity or somebody like me, that's not a celebrity, uh, someone running to tell news concerning somebody passing, um, trying to beat everybody else, the social media to tell it. Because um, you may assume that all of the family know. You may assume that all the people who are really close to someone, we all pretend like we're close to someone, but there are people who are really close to that person and really love that person and was really in that person's life who may not know yet and don't want to find out by social media. There's nothing worse than to find out that somebody you really care about, really care about, had a relationship with that they passed away on social media. That's not the way you want to find something out. The family wants needs and wants and deserve time to come to terms with how they feel about it before it gets put out and they start getting uh, calls and texts and messages and, 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 and people wanting a response. They, they need time to deal with the immediate, the immediate um, death when it first happened. They need time to, to deal with that. So I had a problem with what he did. Um, and he, in this video, it was more than two hours long, he spent the majority of the video defending his actions. And I don't think there is any defense for his actions. Uh, let's listen to a little bit more. Say, I know it to be fact. 
And I know it to be true before I articulate it and before I say it. So I absolutely do not care what some distant child or some family member, when a person, if his daughter wanted to really be and take the place and the stance as a daughter, she should have been down on her knees then he goes on to insult the family for no reason, for no good reason. So for that reason, I will not, I, I will not share his, this video this uh, week. Um, it would have been fun. Um, this would have been a fun video. Y'all know that uh, lately I have been sharing it in a premiere, a premiere live where we can all watch it together and respond together. Normally I don't even watch it. I watch it right along with y'all, but Something in me said, you might want to take a look at this week's. And um, so normally we would have been watching it together, um, enjoying it that way uh, uh, in a live. And and uh, y'all know the comments are the best in, in the live. And I'm sure y'all would have called him Mr. Ronald McDonald because he, he does look like a dressed up Ronald McDonald. But um, for, for the reasons that you just heard, you heard what I what I heard. I decided not to share it. Um, whether you like Fred Price or you didn't like Fred Price, I liked him. I liked his teaching. You know, I have nothing to do with. You know, people don't know how to enjoy the teaching, um, the blessing of the teaching, eat the meat and spit out the bone. But I, but I, that's something that I do. Um, and I've always enjoyed uh, Fred Price's teaching on um, having faith and his teaching on uh, racism and uh, religion and, and other teachings that he's done. A lot of people, you know, bring up the fact that he talked about money a lot. He did. Um, even I got a little bit out of that also. I didn't, that wasn't some of my favorite teachings, but I did, you know, um, pick up a few tidbits here and there from that too. But um, with him, I, I thought he was uh, Dr. Fred Price. I thought he was a very, um, a smart man, very intelligent. Um, he taught very well, very humorous. Um, when you can keep the attention of a teenager or someone that is a very young adult, um, then, then uh, with your humor um, and your uh, speaking style, then then that's pretty good. And um, I liked him. And um, but even if I didn't, I would not play a video with with someone um, who is defending running to social media and wanting to be the first one to announce that he's passed away, passed away before um, the family had an opportunity to deal with him passing away themselves and then have an opportunity to call other uh, close family and close loved ones to tell them before it hit social media. It's something that, that we need to just stop doing. Um, I wish that people would stop doing that. Um, also for him to go on and insult the family, you know, you know, trying to, I don't know what he meant by distant daughter. Uh, when you have children, you're, they're your children. <laughs> uh, they're your children, you know, and, and talking about she should get on her knees. Well, at, at, at this point, you know, the children are praying. And then at this joint, they're dealing with, with the loss. Any any sensible, decent person don't have to be, say why it's wrong. We all know what's wrong. So, I'm so long. I'm about as long-winded as, as William McRae, huh? So, for that reason, we will not be sharing. I will not be sharing his video uh, this week. He did do a Sunday Night Live. Um, like I said, it was more than two hours long. Uh, the majority of it was him defending his actions. Um, it is over on uh, Facebook. I don't know where else that you will be able to hear this video, but it is over on on Facebook. I don't know whether anybody else shared it, um, but um, I won't be sharing it. And I hope that you all understand. So hopefully next week you'll come back with something that I can share and we can premiere it li live and have a good time with it. I hope that everybody understands. This is Miss Cruiser 2.
please like, share, and subscribe.